you know, this uh, this weekend is a party, and you know the Wizard of Oz, the yeah. myth that goes along with that. Well, we're sneaking in some samples from that and some different things. So there's going to be some Wizard of Oz, and actually the whole band will be dressed as the cast of Wizard of Oz. Man, you sent me that picture. <laughs> and, and, and I was like, what is that from? And I even Googled, like, rock and roll fairy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm like, what, what is that? And as soon as he just said that right there, boom, it clicked. That is cool, man. Whose idea was that? Uh I don't know. You know, The Wizard of Oz, everybody knows the story. You yeah. play, started on the third roar or whatever. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so when we were doing this, we all watched The Wizard of Oz. And, you know, we, we want to get in the, the mood of the album. Yeah. And uh, not just play it, but feel it. And uh, so we were watching it. And, and then this was a costume party. Yeah. It's Halloween. We were like, Let's dress up as the Wizard of Oz cast. So we all picked, and I picked the good witch. I will be Glenda. Nice. So Did, did anybody get Dorothy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kelly will be Dorothy. Okay, cool, cool. And that'll be, that'll be cool. Yeah. Man, y'all are doing this right. I so, didn't know that. That's cool, man. Yeah, so this is a Halloween party this, this time. So everybody, you know, it's a costume party, and... It's going to be, we're going to play the full album, but it's also a party. There's going to be drink specials, and and uh, everybody's going to be dressed up. And it's just going to be a great night, you know, friends and fun and, yeah. and rock and roll. It's going to be awesome, man. And like I said, you know, any... I think that this is just an album that so many people who are into classic rock and just rock in general want to see played live because, unfortunately... We're probably never going to get that chance. Right. I, I would love for Pink Floyd to come back together and just do one run of tours. I don't care if the ticket is $1,000. Right. I'm buying that ticket. But unfortunately, I, I don't know if it's ego. I don't know money. Well, there's a or, lot of factors. Yeah. There, probably. Yeah. But, you know, like it's, it's just unfortunate that we won't get to see that played live. So that's why I'm so thankful that a great band like Down to the River is taking on this role because if anybody can pull it off man it's y'all y'all have been producing some incredible records g is for carlos that 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 was one of my favorite songs of 2020 man i appreciate that that was a fun a fun song but yeah we're we're trying to just get in the mood of the record and and soak it in and you know maybe capture a little bit of the feeling that they had at that you know, yeah. the specialness of, of that time and that record. And it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. I, I just wonder, like, who figured out the Wizard of Oz thing, the, the, the dark side of I Oz or whatever too. they call it? Like, who had that much time on their hands that was it like accidental? Were they trying to watch the movie and listen to the record at the same time? I mean, like, I, I just don't see how in the world they figured out that. And I don't know how much it goes into it, but because uh, I've watched it two or three times now, trying to match it up, and and I can convince myself that it's there, and then yeah. I can convince myself otherwise. But the folklore and the the myth behind that now has become part of part of the album. There's Facebook groups. There's you know, whole web pages devoted on how that matches up and each little yeah. thing. And so that's become a special thing, too, all on its own, you know, separate mm-hmm. from the band. So, uh, yeah, I just think it's mm-hmm. it's cool that an album. Yeah, but I, I wonder, too, yeah. who come up? I mean, who was sitting around and watched it enough times while they were listening to Dark Side, you know there were yeah. drugs involved. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. De- a, a very late night in Colorado oh, yeah, or, yeah, or yeah. somewhere, you know. But it it, it really is. Have you done it? Yes, yeah. and like like you said, I, I think that there's some parts you're like, eh, I don't know. But the the lunatic on the grass one, now yeah. that that that's a little bit weird. But I also think that there might have been drugs involved for people to think that that was. 
right. really involved. Uh, you know, and, and who knows? Pink Floyd says that that was all coincidental, but yeah. who knows? Right. And it, it probably was coincidental, but at this point in, in pop culture and our world, it's it's part of it now. I mean, it's fun it's fun to incorporate that on a Halloween night, you yeah. know, so we're yeah, excited. I love that y'all are dressing up like the Wizard of Oz, man. That's such a neat touch that y'all are putting on that. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it'll be a trip. 